What's up guys, JKG back with some more Diablo content for you guys. First and foremost, I want to say thank you for the recent support on the videos. I really do appreciate it. If you could drop a sub on the uh, channel and uh, let's get us to 100 subs and kind of go from there, right? Uh, without further ado, this is going to be my arena build for my barb uh, and kind of give you a little bit of the insight in how I do PvP in both Battlegrounds and Vault defenses now that our clan is immortal. So uh, yeah. Future Brennan, roll that intro. All right, so here we are. We are in the armory, as you can see. We are on my arena build just over my head there. Uh, this is what I use for any kind of PvP, whether it's battlegrounds or vault defenses. This is kind of my thought process here. Um, skill wise, you can see the base skill is our frenzy because I do still like the frenzy. And then with when you charge the ultimate, it, it is a really nice one. Uh, Furious Charge, um, I do like this because it is a nice CC ability. And then I'll go over the gear. I have a piece that allows us to stun. Uh, again, CC is the name of the game in, in uh, PvP. So I use Chain Spear again, try to get some CC. Undying Rage, just in case, you know, I do have the, the Gladiator Tree on, as you can see down below. So I have my Cheat Death. I have my Phoenix Ashes and then I have Undying Rage because, you know, hey, I'm a barb. Why not lean heavy into the into the stereotypical barb build, right? Um, and then last but not least, I have Whirlwind and then I do have the legendary piece to uh, gather everybody in. The Gathering, what that does with the Whirlwind is it pulls everybody in. Uh, with that, I have Eagle Maelstrom again, similar to, to the, uh, the farming build. Just a wider breadth of of uh, of reach on that. And looking at the offhand, I have Oben's Many Fingers. Oben's Many Fingers allows us to have additional uh, chains that uh, that shoot out, so we get an additional two spears that come out when we shoot our chains out um, for this. So that actually gives us more of a, a a range on our our CC ability there. Screaming Fury is a newer. Uh, a newer one for me uh, that I started using with my Furious Charge. So now instead of, and I do believe I went over this in the in the farming build video, but it allows us to kind of point to an area, charge there, go up and stun everything, and then hopefully we can allow at least in PvP. Hopefully we got people, wizards, demon hunters, to come in and clean them up after we CC them with that ability. And then uh, Battle Masters, or I'm sorry, Berserker Sanity is what I'm using specifically, which now allows us to, to dispel the, the uh, loss of control. So if we do get stunned, instead of running Undying Rage in this situation, every once in a while, I will keep on Wrath of the Berserker. That way I can use this to break out of a stun. Um, if I don't use that, that specific piece then there are other other barb pieces of gear that can go in that place and and use along with like our our furious charge or our our uh, our chains but uh, yeah this is the base build i'm gonna try to get you guys some some gameplay footage and we'll kind of go from there um oh last last but not least doom of the cowed doom of the cowed also when we use it, it does sync up with Wrath of the Berserker. So if we do swap out Undying Rage for Wrath of the Berserker, we can actually slow people down. And I, I use this on my farming build now since I since I picked this up. When we pop our Wrath of the Berserker, when we're near somebody, you can see under their feet, they get a little, a little white circle, little whirlwind. And what it does is it slows their movement down by 80%. So it's very significant, right? It's not like a an insignificant slowdown. It, they are literally just kind of crawling along uh, while they're in there. Um, it it is, doesn't last forever. So you just have to understand that. Hopefully you are with a team that is able to come in and mash on them afterwards. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the, the kind of gist of it. Basically what I try to do is I try to go in Furious Charge and stun them, whirlwind them in if I have to. 
And then if they try to run away, then I use my, my spears to kind of bring them back. I like to call it my scorpion build. Uh, and that's kind of the, the thought process behind my, my arena build. If you do something different as a bar, please let me know in the comments below what you do. Uh, it, whether you're using leap or one of the other, one of the other skills. Um, I do have a joke with some guys where one of these days I am going to put on our grab skill as a barbarian and basically try to grab an enemy and then throw them at one of their teammates. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be very viable. Um, it, it's pretty much a mean skill as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I don't use it anywhere. I've tried it in, you know, different, different places, but maybe in PVP, it could actually come in handy. I'm not sure. Uh, we do get four seconds of, of having them. So, I mean, I'm sorry, monsters in PVE, we get four seconds. Other players we get for two seconds, uh, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of something different. Um, if you use ground stomp, I know you can, you can, uh, pair ground stomp with some stun abilities leap same thing um yeah demoralize if you're in a team base maybe for vault stuff more than for battlegrounds you can use demoralize and give the battle shout to ev all of your teammates to let them do more damage um yeah let me know if you use something different or even if you use like lacerate as your main skill in in pvp let me know down below in the comments uh as always if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and uh, i'll see you in the next one peace